Hello friends, so today I'm going to show you how to configure a DNS server to map a fully qualified domain name to an IP address. So this is the topology that we are going to follow. We do have a router over here. This is a 1941 Cisco router. And on this side we do have a DNS server which has a network of 200.0.0.0 slash 24 and it contains a record of domain name www.server.com which is mapped to the IP address of 200.0.0.2 slash 24 and on this side we do have a PC that acts as a DNS client which is going to make a DNS request for this particular domain name to this server and this server, server will uh, check the record of its DNS service and if it finds this record and the IP address of this particular domain name, it is going to respond back this DNS request with the domain name and the IP address. So uh, let us start. We need to have a router in between. So Cisco 1941 router. And on the left side, let us configure a PC that is our DNS client. And on the right side, we do have a server okay so now connect to them so we can uh, use the copper crossover cable to connect these two devices Okay, so now let us look at here. You can find this interface is conf configured with an IP address of 220.0.0.1, and this interface is configured with 200.0.0.1. So let us go to the router CLI. So, first of all, it says, Would you like to enter the initial configuration dialog? No press it on to get started so this is our user executive mode the first mode that is of our Cisco router so the first command is enable which takes us to privilege executive mode and uh, the next command is configure terminal which takes us to global configuration mode through which we can configure our interface so interface GIG 0 slash 0 as you can see on this side we do have a GIG 0 slash 0 interface so IP address 220.0.0.1 space 255.255.255.0 no shutdown no shutdown makes this port off to on or let's say disabled to enabled so now let us go to interface gig 0 slash 1 and IP address 200.0.0.1 space 255.255.255.0 no shutdown okay so the configuration part for the router is only this much what we have done is that we have used command line interface to configure these two interfaces gigabit ethernet 0 slash 0 and gigabit ethernet 0 slash 1 and you can check the IP addresses from here as well you can see gigabit ethernet 00, 0 is configured with 220.0.0.1 and gigabit ethernet 01 is configured with 200.0.0.1 okay so if you go back to our um, diagram, topology diagram, you can see this DNS server is configured with an IP address of this same network 200.0.0.2. So now let us go to server desktop IP 200.0.0.2 <coughs> default subnet mask default gateway 200.0.0.1 dns server since this server itself is a dns server and a web server for this topology 
so the IP address will be the same as it is over here so copy paste now we need to configure a DNS service so you need to go to services go to DNS first of all make it on and give a fully qualified domain name so the fully qualified domain name which is used over here is www.server.com server.com and it is mapped to this particular IP address add it so if you add you get a record of uh, address record of www.server.com and an IP address of 200.0.0.2 so the server part is configured so now we need to go to the client part DNS client part so let us go to this client give an IP address of 220 220.0.0.2 220.0.0.1 200.0.0.2 what we have done is that we have just configured our IP address 220.0.0.2 on the gateway on the interface of 220.0.0.1 which is connected to gigabit ethernet 00 so our DNS server is 200.0.0.2 so we have given this IP address now if all the configuration is correct then what we need to do is that we need to go to our web browser so if you type the domain name www server.com so initially it gets it takes a time because initially the information on the router is empty so it needs to update its table so after some time if you press enter then you get a message called welcome to Cisco packet tracer opening doors to new opportunities mind wide open so this is it if you go to command prompt and if you type in www.server.com you need to get a response as you can see over here you get a response guys remember DNS always use the port number 53 to connect to this server so if you go to this simulation mode you can see actual how it works okay so let us do that as well so this is our topology let us edit this filter and let us use only the DNS service service okay so if you create a packet if you go to this web browser and create a packet www.server actually this is a DNS request so if you hit enter you do not get any messages on this screen as you can see over here since it is in simulation mode we need to capture or forward a packet that is created over here so if you click on this capture forward button you can see the message goes to this router okay and if again you press capture forward it goes to DHCP server and it checks the message and it sees that it is a request message for the server sorry for the domain name www.server.com and now it has to check on its DNS record so if you again press capture forward button it gives a response to router and if again you press this button the message passes to PC and you can see the request is successful so if you go and check this PDU information Initially, if you click on this one, you can see over here on inbound detail. So, it's DNS query named www.server.com and it does not have any answer over here. DNS query, it does not have any answer over here. Okay, it's empty. At the end, if you go and check this packet, if you go to inbound detail as you can see this is a DNS query DNS query for what? which name? www.server.com 
and DNS answer is www.server.com and the IP address 200.0.0.2 so now it uh, knows that its uh, HTTP web server is on 200.0.0.2 and it tries to access the web file html.index file to from this server so you can see these files from server go to services HTTP if you look at here you can see these files image.html index.html so if you see this response look at it this message that you get is all configured on this HTML file if you want then you can edit it or delete it or do whatever you want from here so right now I will leave it as it is click on save okay so I hope you understood thank you guys for watching goodbye